goes off a boot. Troy Bodie gets a stick on it, and it comes out across the blue line. Bodie still after it. Tomernus gets it. They bring it across the blue line, and Bodie once again gets after it, and then with a second and third effort, it brings it back down the ice. Now has McKeg. Greg McKeg back to Bodie. Looks in. Scores! Troy Bodie from Greg McKeg. Give, go, goal. Now that is what you call terrific passing right there, Todd. But it all starts at the defensive blue line. Troy Bodie with second effort springs the puck loose. And Greg McKeg has the mind to get on his horse and join the attack. A two-on-one break as they come across the center ice red line. The key to it, Bodie makes the initial pass right away. He gives it to McKeg. McKeg right back. And an excellent job with that long reach of Bodie to get around Erickson's left pad and stuffs the puck past him for a shorthanded tally. Levo tried to chop it back up and out backhanded. Opportunity out front right on. Best chance so far scores. And Je Dustin Jeffrey knocks it home to make it one apiece. Well, Dustin Jeffrey scored the winning goal in yesterday afternoon's game. He gets the tying goal here. And this is just good, solid work by the Utica Comets. The Marlies failed to get the puck out of their zone along the wall, and they turn it over again. Grenier gets the golden opportunity on a nice feed from the left side. He chips it in front. Gibson with the original save, but the rebound comes back out into the slot. Dustin Jeffrey pounces on that loose puck. He makes no mistake of putting it by Greg Gibson. Up along the near boards it comes. It's picked up by Bodie there. He gives it over, however, and right back in. Gibson will play it. He's got Nielsen with him, and he's got McWilliam as well, and a giveaway behind the net is the Marlies give one away to make it 2-1. Well, communication is a huge factor, and right here, the miscommunication costs the Marlies the go-ahead goal by young uh, DeFazio, and uh, Brandon DeFazio gets, there's the recipient of a turnover. Christopher Gibbons comes out and stops the puck. He's got Nielsen coming one way, McWilliam the other, and he doesn't allow either guy to pick up the puck, and it's knocked off his stick by one of the Utica players behind the goal line, and DeFazio picks it up and deposits it in the back of the net. It's 2-1 Utica with 17.37 to go here in period number three. Here's Brown back up high. Contiola finding Victor Love. He goes down into the corner for Holzer. And now Brown working out of the corner with Levo. Throws it out front. Little back and scores! Victor Love. Well, after Utica kills off the power play for the Toronto Marlies, they're a tired group. They can't get off. The Marlies do an excellent job, puck recovery. They had made a couple of changes on the fly on that power play. And as a result, Victor Love, a new player who comes out on the ice for Spencer Abbott, who comes off, he jumps into the slot area. He picks up that loose puck in the backhander, gets by the defenseman, and it scoots past that right arm of the goaltender, Erickson. And the Marlies, with a big goal with 6.27 to go, have tied it up at two goals apiece. McKaig spins out of the corner, cuts toward the net. Tries to jam it in, still has the puck. And now back up to Spencer Abbott, the zone lost, but the Marley's still with the puck. Cross over to Love, across the blue line. Here they come, Victor Love takes the shot, he scores! Victor Love with his second goal of the game, his second professional goal, and the Marley's win in overtime. Well, it's amazing how it seemed like yesterday's game. He had a real problem handling the puck and making plays. He scores in period number three to get things going, and he's out there three on three in overtime, and he had three tremendous opportunities. The third time's the charm as he ends it with the first victory here for the Toronto Marlies season here for 2014-15. Two goals in the third period, and the Marlies win the hockey game in overtime. 